Hey there, I'm Scott Newman from Independent VFX and in this video we'll be taking a look at five must-have plugins for Adobe After Effects that you should think about getting if you really want to take things to the next level. Over at Independent VFX we cover a range of tutorials for independent filmmakers and VFX enthusiasts. Go check us out, we might just be your thing, especially if you're into military or action VFX. For a long time I've been wanting to do a video on my most used plugins for Adobe After Effects and as it happens AV3 Software recently approached me to talk about exactly that. AV3 are an online store for VFX and motion graphics plugins and you can pick up great discounts and support when buying through them. They sell the plugins I'm covering in this video as well as many other popular plugins for After Effects and other platforms. They sell to all the big VFX houses globally, but they're just as serious about catering for the individual. So go check them out for some great offers and a quick and simple buying process. Right, onto the plugins. Track Code Particular is probably my all time favorite third party plugin for Adobe After Effects. It comes with a bunch of cool presets for doing things like smoke, spark, and fireworks. But the real power of Particular is when you start using it with custom particle setups. It comes with great physics parameters like gravity, wind, turbulence, and other particle controls like lifespan and particle age modifiers. And when used with your own custom particles, the possibilities are endless. You can use it to create snow, ash, glitter, uh, ejecting bullet shells, smoke trails, traces, and even abstract grid layouts where you need lots of object replication done quickly and easily. Trap Code Particular ranks as one of the all-time most useful plugins for Adobe After Effects. Element 3D has really been a game changer when it comes to doing great looking, fast 3D right inside Adobe After Effects. It's especially useful for doing 3D text and logo builds, but the sky's the limit when you start accessing particle replication and deformation effects. Element lets you build your own primitive geometry and side element. Um, you can also extrude parts created inside Adobe After Effects, or you can import more complex OBJ files to work with. Video Copilot have released some great surface presets that quickly let you create a range of surfaces from metal to stone and concrete through to shiny plastics and simulated translucent and transparent substances. Then Video Copilot have also released some excellent pre-surfaced and textured model packs for Element. Some of these are so elaborate they become a whole package in themselves. Jetstrike is an amazing add-on to Element 3D which lets you create really cool flight scenes and to be honest, it's really just a whole lot of fun. So denoising might not seem like a big deal, but it can really make the difference between usable and unusable footage. The obvious application for denoising is to remove grain from old footage or to remove digital noise from low light or noisy digital video. Another area where denoising is crucial is in color keys. Denoising your blue or green screen footage before applying the key can help you get a cleaner key and recover details like hairs and fine edges. There's a lot of denoising software on the market. The two I'm going to talk about are Red Giant Denoiser 2 and Neat Video Denoiser. So Red Giant's Denoiser I feel is the more cost effective option. You get a license for two software platforms like Adobe After Effects and Premiere. Neat Video Denoiser is a more dedicated and serious plugin in my opinion. Each software platform license needs to be purchased individually, but it's the noise reduction plugin I prefer to use inside Adobe After Effects. Video Copilot makes some of the coolest and best plugins around, and Optical Flares is certainly no exception. Use it to add a layer of atmosphere to your CGI composites, or add that layer of JJ Abrams or Michael Bay gloss to your motion graphics and titles. What makes Optical Flares really powerful is how it works with After Effects' 3D lights and it can be dynamically triggered and controlled. You can also get under the hood and build your own custom presets that you can then save and use again and again later in your own preset library. No other plugin adds this much production value this quickly and easily. Real Smart Motion Blur 
So there are generally two instances where you'd want to add motion blur to footage. The first is where you've shot live action footage with a narrow shutter angle and the footage is a little bit stroby. And the second instance is where you're rendering a fast moving sequence out of 3D and you haven't rendered ray traced motion blur and you've opted to add it in post. So real smart motion blur is a great option in both of these instances. Now, since CC 2013, After Effects has offered its own built-in vector-based motion blur called Pixel Motion Blur, which does a great job and it's very comparable to Real Smart Motion Blur. Where Real Smart Motion Blur really sets itself apart though is by offering pro features and the ability to drive motion blur with vector output from your 3D app. So motion blur is one of those subtle things that really helps to add a level of realism and finish to your composites. Real Smart Motion Blur, in my opinion, does the best job out there and it's a great time saver for when you're rendering sequences out of 3D and you want to add your motion blur in post. So those are my top 5 plugins to use inside Adobe After Effects. I find myself using those plugins again and again to turn work around and they really have become part of my daily workflow. So if you're serious about using Adobe After Effects as your primary tool, then you should definitely be considering those five plugins. I've listed them in the description below this video as well as a link to AV3 site. AV3 are a great way to save on the cost of your plugins as well as a great way to simplify the buying process. So go check them out. I'm Scott Newman from Independent VFX. Thanks for watching. Cheers.